20 years ago tonight, it was a cold and damp night in Berlin, but nobody seemed to care because it was also the start of what became the biggest party in the free world, a free world that, by the way, had just grown a bit larger. I made it over there to see the Berlin Wall come down before our very eyes. I was reporting, as they say at that time, for another network. And we were all jealous of Tom Brokaw of NBC Nightly News for getting there first and reporting the story back to the States first. Tonight, Tom is back in Berlin, the place where really the whole world changed, and it certainly is a different city these days. Tom, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Well, uh, 20 years ago tonight, tens of thousands of East Germans came through the Berlin Wall, one of them a young woman with her two sisters. She was a lab technician then. And now, 20 years later, her name is Angela Merkel, and she came through another gate, the Brandenburg Gate tonight, as the chancellor of a unified Germany. It was a night to save her for the chancellor and for the world. Tonight's celebration was an entertainment and political extravaganza at the Brandenburg Gate. The site of a much more spontaneous celebration 20 years ago, the night the wall fell. A sinister symbol of oppression, the wall has changed dramatically tonight. Chancellor Merkel led an all-star lineup of Cold War veterans and their successors. Gorbachev of Russia, Lech Wałęsa of Poland, Hillary Clinton from the U.S. among them. 20 years of so many changes, so many challenges. Today, Berlin is a dazzling city on the east as well as west side of what was once the wall. Now in East Berlin, you can buy everything from a Ferrari to an Armani suit. 20 years ago in this part of Berlin, you had to stand in line to buy a loaf of bread. Now you stand in line to get a Starbucks cappuccino. But for many Germans, this remains a country with a split personality. Claudia Wilhelm is a Berlin teacher who says her students still think of themselves as West Germans. They say, oh, well, maybe I don't go to the east or uh, it's in the east because, well, I'm in the west. I think it's the same way in the east that they say, oh, I don't go over to the west because I don't want to. They are posh or like that. In the east, the town of Hoyerswerda was once a communist show place. Today, it is just another German town struggling with a bad economy and failed hopes. I'd never plead for a return to the old way, but the economy just couldn't keep up with the expectations we had after the fall of the wall. It is the economy that is now the common enemy of all Germans. Unemployment is at 8%. It's twice as high in the East. That is a much higher priority for Germans than helping the U.S. and Afghanistan where German forces are keeping a low profile. Today, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said the Germans are doing as well as can be expected, given their history. This has been a very difficult uh, political decision for them, given their uh, understandable allergy to being looked as though they were, once again, a, a military power. Tonight, however, belongs to a triumphant moment, the fall of the wall and with it, the communist empire. Artists created a chain of oversized dominoes along the old route of the wall. Tonight, they were toppled. Just as the communist states toppled two decades ago. After all the trauma of the 20th century, most of it self-inflicted tonight's celebration could be the next major step for Germany to renew itself as a whole country and as a leading member of the community of nations. Brian. Tom Brokaw in Berlin, where it's just as late at night as it was 20 years ago. Tom, thanks. When